Status asthmaticus is a severe, life-threatening asthma exacerbation that does not respond to standard treatments such as inhaled bronchodilators and corticosteroids. This condition is characterized by prolonged bronchospasm, leading to persistent airflow obstruction and respiratory distress despite the administration of high-dose medications. Patients experiencing status asthmaticus exhibit symptoms that are significantly more intense and prolonged than typical asthma attacks, including severe shortness of breath, wheezing, chest tightness, and cough. These symptoms can rapidly escalate to hypoxemia, hypercapnia, and respiratory acidosis, necessitating urgent medical intervention to prevent respiratory failure and potential death. This video provides a brief overview of this topic, so keep watching to learn more. The pathophysiology of status asthmaticus involves several mechanisms, including heightened airway inflammation, increased mucus production, and bronchial hyperresponsiveness. These factors contribute to extensive airway narrowing and obstruction, making it difficult for patients to breathe effectively. The persistent airway constriction seen in status asthmaticus results in inadequate gas exchange, leading to a decrease in oxygen levels and a buildup of carbon dioxide in the blood. If not promptly addressed, these conditions can lead to severe respiratory compromise and organ dysfunction. Diagnosis of status asthmaticus primarily relies on clinical assessment and history, with healthcare providers looking for signs of severe respiratory distress, use of accessory muscles for breathing, and decreased breath sounds. Objective measurements such as peak expiratory flow rate and arterial blood gas analysis can provide additional information on the severity of the exacerbation and the extent of respiratory impairment. A significantly reduced PEFR indicates severe airflow limitation, while ABG analysis may reveal hypoxemia and hypercapnia, reflecting inadequate ventilation. Management of status asthmaticus requires aggressive and immediate treatment to stabilize the patient's condition. Initial interventions often include continuous administration of short-acting beta antagonists such as albuterol, via nebulization, or meter dose inhaler with a spacer combined with systemic corticosteroids to reduce airway inflammation. In severe cases, intravenous magnesium sulfate may be used as a bronchodilator to relax the bronchial muscles. Supplemental oxygen is provided to maintain adequate oxygenation, and in cases of respiratory failure, mechanical ventilation may be necessary to support breathing. In this case, positive end expiratory pressure, or PEEP, is often required to help improve oxygenation while on the ventilator. Hospitalization is typically required for patients with status asthmaticus, with intensive monitoring in a critical care setting to ensure rapid response to treatment and to manage potential complications. In some cases, refractory status asthmaticus may require advanced therapies such as extracorporeal membrane oxygenation to provide respiratory support while underlying inflammation and bronchospasm are addressed. Prevention of status asthmaticus involves comprehensive asthma management, including regular use of controller medications, avoidance of triggers, and close monitoring of asthma symptoms. Education on recognizing early warning signs of exacerbations and having an action plan in place can empower patients to seek timely medical help, reducing the risk of severe episodes. Despite advancements in asthma care, status asthmaticus remains a critical condition that requires swift and effective treatment to avert potentially fatal outcomes. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching, have a blessed day, and as always, breathe easy, my friend.